see an Anna Mary. She thinks the ice sculpture is a mechanical bull. Oh, thanks. I don't feel so good. Well, duh. You were pounding down the imitation crab like it was a real thing. Good work, honey. You know what I think? I think we ought to get divorced just so we can get remarried again, you know, and then we can write our own vows, and we'll say that we want to be just like us. <laughs> Uh, I really don't feel so good. I'm not kidding. Maybe you should go find a phone and call Dr. Walker. Dan? Call somebody. Uh, Barbara Healy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm Roseanne Connor. You know, a couple of our kids are married, a couple of our kids are dating. Hi. Right. Darlene's not here. Yeah, I know, but I, I was at the uh, grocery store around the corner, and I knew where you guys lived, and I thought I should come over because I, I want to talk to you. Sure. What the hell? Well, maybe we would have met at Becky and Mark's wedding if either one of us had been invited. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll both be there for the divorce. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, listen, I want to talk to you about uh, David, you know. Um, I think he might be getting ready to run away. What, are you kidding me? No, and I feel really responsible, too, because I know that you wanted Dan and me to take him in. Take him in? I wanted you to take him in. What the hell are you talking about? David! David! Oh, man, you didn't even know anything about this, did you? This is Connor. What is all this crap about you running away? And who said it was okay with me for you to move into her house? And don't lie to me! Oh, I'm not running away. Moving into her house was just an idea. We didn't think it would hurt to ask. So, you were going to abandon me, just like your father did. Mrs. Connor, could you leave us alone, please? No, I want her to stay here so you can tell her you're sorry for being such a pathetic little liar. Well, uh, he doesn't have to do that, Barbara. Yes, he does. I want you to see what kind of ungrateful garbage I've raised. Hey, I don't mean to interfere here, but, you know, the kids, they just took a shot at staying together. It's not like it's the worst thing in the world. Oh, you don't think so? No, it's not even the worst thing Darlene's done today. <laughs> Listen to me. I don't want you butting in, telling me how to raise my kids. Take a look at the two little whores you raised. Oh, uh, I'm in this now. <laughs> You know, if your kid wasn't here, I would take the opportunity to remind you that people who live in glass whorehouses shouldn't throw stones. <laughs> it's people like you that give white trash a bad name. Come on, please just stop. It's over, okay? I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Love to see you try and run away. You think you could live without me? You think you could survive for two minutes out there in that world unless I was taking care of you? You are worthless. You are a worthless little bastard. OK, I'm changing my mind. David, you can come live with us if you want to. Are you trying to steal my kid? I got nothing to do with stealing anything. Whether he runs away or comes and lives at my place, he is not going to stay here with you. That's not true, is it, honey? I want to live with them. Look, you know that I don't mean it when I do this, baby. I just, I'm going through a tough time now, okay? I, uh, I, won't, I won't talk like that again. I'll never say it again. Don't you love me? I can't keep doing this. Okay. Get out now! Okay. 
Come on, David. We'll get your stuff later. Let's go home. Pills? You mean you really are taking drugs? I need them. Jesse, give me those. I need them, Zach. I have to sing. Jesse, you can't sing tonight. Yes, I can. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> Sit down. I ain't got time for no lecture. I said sit down, Lou. You know, Will was doing just fine until you showed up. But now that you're back, you have responsibilities to him. Look, we're still gonna take the trip. Oh, bull! Bull! Will is not a coat that you hang in the closet then pick it up when you're ready to wear it. His life goes on. He's not supposed to be here for you. You're supposed to be here for him. You get off my back! You think I want this? It just happened! Now, when Will was a baby, I was scared. Oh, Cut was... the crap, all right? Cut it! Because I've been there. But I didn't run out on my family. I was there every day for them, because that's what a man does. Fine, Philip. You win. You the man. You a better man than me. You happy? Now, are you going to tell Will or not? I'm not going to do your dirty work for you. Fine. Uh, I'll call him from the road. Yeah, then why don't you do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Daddy O! What's up? Will, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Um, some business came up I got to handle. So we're going to have to put a, our trip on hold. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, Will. You know what? Actually, this works out better for me. You know, the slimmies of summer come to class wearing next to nothing. You know what I'm well, saying? Will, it's all right to be angry. Hey, well, why should I be mad? I'm saying at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I Hey, could you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm going to have me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? Are we going to see the body? What? Are we going to be in the room with the dead body? I, I don't know. No? But I guess we should take over patrolling and all that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. For however long. You know it. I can't wear this. 
I, I really should have the other. Joyce liked it so. Do you think you could have left in the laundry room? Maybe. I'll go check. Uh, I'll just be one minute. We're cool. Are they gonna cut the body open? Oh my God. Would you just stop talking? Just shut your mouth, please. What am I doing? How can you act like that? Am I supposed to be changing my clothes a lot? I mean, is that the helpful thing to do? Guys. The way you behave. Well, nobody will tell me. Because it's not okay for you to be asking these things. But I don't understand. I don't understand how this all happens. How we go through this. I mean, I knew her and then she's, there's just a body. And I don't understand why she just can't get back in it and not be dead anymore. It's stupid. It's mortal and stupid. And, and Xander's crying and not talking. And, and I was having fruit punch. And I thought, well, Joyce will never have any more fruit punch ever. And she'll never have eggs or yawn or brush her hair. Not ever. And no one will explain to me why.